Hey guys and welcome back to Celeb Plant. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're going to talk about Trisha Paytas scamming her fans. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. Trisha Paytas has always been in the internet drama. No matter what topic, it always seems like something is going wrong and people begin hating on her and attempting to cancel her. Maybe she likes it this way, who knows. Recently, fans have begun to love her once again. As she is a recent mother and everyone loves the changes she has made within her life. We thought that Trisha had learned from the past actions that have given her trouble, but it seems that once again she's back into the life of internet drama. Unfortunately, Trisha has now been accused of scamming her fans with her new products as she's been putting out. It's been over a year since Trisha Paytas announced that she launched a skincare line called Trish Skin. The skincare line was set at $200 and people were very angry about the commercial that went with it. People accused her of using a blurred skin filter which made the product seem inadequate. When fans started receiving their packages, they realized that they should not have paid the money they did for these products. One fan even did an unboxing video to which she was met with her products being thrown into the box, some being broken and some of the product being everywhere, all over the box and spilled. Unfortunately, instead of the company being apologetic and possibly providing a solution or asking the shippers that handled the box if it was their fault, the owner of the company Trisha collaborated with decided to threaten the customer. Trisha decided to respond with a video, and instead of cutting ties with Glowskin, the company she collaborated with, she decided to push it away. Not only were there problems with the products being shipped and packaged improperly, apparently customers ended up getting chemical burns from the products. When this news came out, we couldn't believe it. Once again, instead of apologizing or providing a solution, Trisha decided to go live and explain that customers were lying and there was no issue with her products. How horrible. She decided to take down the product because of all the backlash. Hold on, if you guys have made it this far in the video, make sure to slap the like button and make sure to subscribe with the notification bell. It helps us out a lot and it will notify you every time we upload a new video. So it's a win-win situation. Anyways, back into the video. Now, more recently she has announced that her skincare collection with Glow Skin is back. People were commenting that she was horrible for releasing it once again. They accused her of simply getting a spa care day done and explaining that her product works when it actually doesn't. People are also bringing up the point that Trisha has absolutely no qualifications to release a brand like this and are appalled she would do it again after the mess that was the first attempt just over a year ago. Apparently, the owner of Glowskin does not even have any qualifications and exclaimed that you don't need qualifications to actually produce a product. She even went on to bring up the fact that people lied about the chemical burns and it was not the reason for taking down Trisha's line of skincare products last year. She said that her products were taken down because of all the hate and threats and not because of that. It's honestly horrible that she's not only discrediting the experience a customer had, but also trying to justify her actions for releasing the brand yet again. We don't think that this should have been a possibility on Trisha's business actions, considering the drama it caused last year. Overall, it is an extremely messy situation. Not only is the owner claiming that she doesn't need qualifications to produce these products, but she's saying that this new line will 100% get a check mark. And fans are really mad at Trisha Paytas for pulling this stunt yet again. What do you guys think about this entire situation? Do you think Trisha is scamming her fans out of their hard-earned money once again? Let us know in the comments below, and we hope to have an update for you soon about the entire situation. We'll see what happens with this new skincare line. That's all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when we come with newer content. Thanks for watching. We're signing off now and we'll be back with some amazing content for you soon.